Hey guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Beast. <laughs> I'm YouTube famous now. <laughs> Available in 2018, the retro remix coming to you. The affiliate link below, and I'm putting one today, so go check it out. I'm not a fool. I just want some respect, uh-huh, so close the door if you want me to respond, hell yeah, cause prophecy is my middle name, my last name is Control, no my first name ain't Baby, it's Peter, Mr. Mon if you're nasty. Ah, fans flying all over the world after that one, the world tour with Mr. Peter Jada Jackson Mon. Alright, so let's get right into this today. <laughs> it's really late, you guys. It is like, uh, let's see, it is 8.55 p.m. This is the latest I posted a video in. I don't know how long, and I really like the other fan better, but oh well. Hold on a second, I'll use this prop that I have. Row, row, row about. That's a little hint about what prop is coming up here <laughs> shortly. <laughs> this is truly the most unedited video I have done in a long time. Oh, I don't edit my videos. Woo, so anyway. Please hold. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. I'm gonna take my clothes. Okay, so anyway. Welcome, if you've never been here before, to the channel, Peter Mon. I am the Anderson Cooper and the Andy Cohen. Cohen. Cohen, basically, if they can be morphed into one person, that's me, a beauty, okay, on YouTube. So if I was the Anderson Cooper and the Andy Cohen of beauty on YouTube, this is who you would find right here. So anyway, I have so much drama for you guys today. And in fact, I'll just get right into it in a minute and 49 seconds instead of just like telling little stories about Misty and answering the drama phone. Ding a ling a ling, shim a ling, ding, ding dong. Ding. How's the drama drama phone? This is Peter speaking. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> Oh, no, I just can't do those voices today. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Tana Mojo drama. Oh, she's all dried up. <laughs> all dried up, that Tana. Uh, won't be any drama on her today. No, we're selling that one cheap, $1.99. <sighs> Elijah Daniel drama, 50 cents. Nikita Dragon drama, $12.99. So anyway, today I'm going to talk about two of my all-time favorite beauty influencers. We have gotten so serious about these motherfucking names on YouTube, haven't we? You wear makeup, okay? You're makeup artists that kind of learned most of you, didn't go to no kind of school. It's not like you went to S S Sally J Hair Academy. It's not like you went to the Aveda Clinic and then, you know, all that kind of stuff, okay? Most of you taught yourselves off of the YouTube. You posted some pictures up on Instagram and now we just have to have our picture taken with you at BeautyCon, except for me, I could care less. But I do love these people nonetheless. You see, I just kicked my camera. That's how uh, serious I am about all this kind of stuff. I mean, that's the truth of the nature. Let's just be for real, okay? We follow these people. We get obsessed with their lives and we want to know all the drama and then that's the necessity of the drama channel We're basically here to tell you all the tea, okay, but I don't drink tea. I drink coffee So anyway, let's get right into this I'm gonna talk about two people today that I absolutely love and I very rarely ever make videos about and that is Patrick Starr and Nikita Dragon Now in talking to some of my beauty influencer friends I made a comment uh, to a couple of them and I said, you know I think it's really interesting. You never hear a lot of drama about uh, Patrick Starr or about Nikita Dragon, probably because they're not problematic and they stay out of, out of the tro trouble. Uh, the silence that I received on that question was interesting. So anyway, 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 so anywho, <laughs> my mom used to do that. Let me just tell you why I'm in such this mood, okay? First of all, before I started, I was like getting all the trash. Y'all think I'm like this world elite, fantastic YouTuber, don't you? That I just sit around and I'm just fanned all day long and they bring me chocolates and coffee and I just go, <laughs> turn on Chrisley Kids or whatever that show's called, all the Chrisleys, Todd Chrisley, who'd care? Anyway, I watched a whole marathon of it today. That's basically my job these days, watching reality TV. But y'all think that's what I do is I just sit around here all day long. Oh no, I have to gather the trash like the rest of you. So I gathered the trash and I was getting it all together in a trash bag and putting it out in the trash so I could roll it to the curb, right? Well, I went out in the garage and I opened that and I swear to God, I opened that trash can and it smelled like two raccoons were fucking and died and had some ass, dead ass up in that trash can. It stank so bad. I, woo, I pushed it right on out into the street. It was mm -mm, not good. And then when I realized what it was, it was all the cans of wet dog food that we're feeding Pee Pee now because Pee Pee has to have wet dog food because he, uh, 
his teeth have fallen out. He, he, not good teeth. Moral of the story, take care of your dog's teeth. So anyway, get in there every night. When I used to see people do this back in the day and they would brush their dog's teeth and stuff, I, I, I thought to myself, you're so fucking corny. Brushing your dog's teeth, who do you think you are, okay? Damn, now I wish I had done that. I mean, and that wet food, whew, looks like wet cat litter. It's not nice, but anyway. Today I'm going to talk about two of my all-time favorite beauty gurus, and one I'm going to talk about is Patrick Starr. Did y'all see his Instagram or the video of him dancing? He was like going to he was like Mama Mama Starr's going to the Philippines and he whipped the a wig off. Ah, I love Patrick Starr so much. I think he is so funny. Okay, and we're going to talk about that him just in a second because there's some tea about him. But first we're going to talk about Nikita Dragon, and this isn't that big of a deal, but I love when people. People, people, people needing people. Do you love how I hold my microphone like this? Who does that? Nobody. I mean, but basically I am like, Miss Janet if you're next, Miss Jackson if you're nasty. Do you guys love the song Nasty? Who's the fit? Is Paula Abdul in that? Or is it J-Lo? One of them's in that video. But anyway. I'm not a fool. I just want some respect. So close the door if you want me to respond. Hell yes. <laughs> Yo, Janet, I'm about to get this. You want this? But do you really think that you can get this at first? You're just this. Now you want to kiss this. Tell them, girls. Too late, you missed this. Because we need a man that's swift, quick, and clever. Ready at the drop of a dime to do whatever. Not trying to front or fake to save face. Because I'm with that J and H. I'm in a place. Tell them, Jay, you want this? That fan sucks, too. So anyway, I am like running out of all kinds of fans here. Oh, anyway, so let's get right into this. Last night, I noticed that Nikita Dragon, let me just show you this, okay? Do you see this picture that she posted? So adorable, right? Of her and Joey Graceffa. Do you see that picture? With my ring light? <laughs> okay. Number one, my first comment was, and this is why I hit the tags to begin with, okay? So this is what's funny. The tags are what's funny. Nikita, girl, don't try to be no shady, okay? Shady lady, Nikita Dragon. I love that name, and I love her. So anyway... But what I want, I wanted to see where that jacket was from because I thought it was truly going to be tagged up Michael Jackson. I hate when Joey Graceffa wears that jacket. I'm like, Joey, the Michael Jackson estate wants their jacket back. That jacket's lame. Don't wear that jacket, okay? Who do you think you are in that jacket? It's corny. It's like the guy in the Nutcracker, you know, like the the Prince or whatever he was. I never seen that. I don't like uh, I don't like theater and things like that. <laughs> I've truly seen the Nutcracker. But anyway, this is what is so funny about this is. If you go, peep, the Joey kids are going to come for me. They're, don't come for Joey Graceffa. Oh, come on. She's boring as shit. Okay. I mean, back in the day, at least she played video games. Today, it's just like, what? She sits around and has pretty hair. Let's be for real. That's why they all want to be beauty influencers now. So anyway, if you look at this, and I like Joey, okay? But do something. Get exciting, right? Anyway. If you look at this picture, it, this reminds me so much of back in the day, those coloring books, but they, you didn't use, like, your mom didn't trust you to be out in public to use, like, real paint, so you used water. Do you remember those? Like, color by water books. This totally reminds me of that. Look, watch this, okay? So here's the picture. I better roll the right way or y'all might get something you don't want to see. I don't have that on my phone. I think I've made that clear enough by now. But anyway, anyway, <laughs> here they are together, and then look, add some water, poof, and there's the tags. And I was like, when I read this, I was like, oh no, ma'am, she most certainly didn't. So are you ready? Here's what it says. Ha ha, bitch, stop being so damn thirsty. Keep it moving and scroll away. Well, thank you, Nikita Dragon, <laughs> for your shadiness. But that is not what is so fantastic about this picture. True story. It's right there, okay? And all these people, like, when I was talking to them, were like, she does that all the time. I'm like, so I went through literally every picture of hers for, like, the last 100 days. She hasn't done it in the last 100 days. I didn't see that she did that in there a whole lot. Did she back in the day? I don't know. Who? it is hot in here. I truly do need this Evian spray. It's getting... Oh, oh. I feel like I'm in that movie Blue Crush, and I'm riding the waves. Sharks! Okay, so anyway. <laughs> so what kills me about this, though, right, is that if you go to the picture and you look, let's here, let's just scan up on this for a second, okay? Can we talk about Joey's hand for a second on Nikita's ass? Uh, Joey, what is going on there? Seriously? And what was so funny is if you read the comments underneath here, oh my god, I totally saved this on Facebook and I didn't even show you. John McLean posted on his, uh, that stuff kind of makes me glow a little bit. He posted on his business Facebook page. Now, I didn't know nobody used Facebook anymore. I can't stand that. It's for all the grandmas. But anyway, uh, but he posted up on here on his 
Facebook page, of which I then went and liked and I followed. I have a Facebook page too. I don't ever post on it. So he put, I shall take the liberty of expressing my gratitude to Peter Mon once again for a most kind review of my latest Q&A part two film. <laughs> I live so much for that. So anyway, what was so funny though is if you go in here and you read all the comments that people were saying underneath this, they're like, the tags, Michaela so said the tags, ha ha ha. And then, uh, Colina Poshmark said, honey. <laughs> and then Stargazing said the tags. I can't. But where's the one? Uh, Ms. Gummy Bear said in all caps, Daniel is not going to be happy. <laughs> Hi, Daniel. How are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Call me anytime. So anyway, <laughs> Daniel, you and I can recreate that picture. So um, anyway, and then watch where those hands are going, said Maya Rivera, or Maya Rivera. Well, that's not the Maya Rivera, though, is it? <laughs> Did you guys ever look at the profile pictures on Instagram? <laughs> They're like so small. It's like, is that you? Who is that? Is that a teddy bear or is that your kid? I can't tell. <laughs> and anyway, um, so it was hilarious. So I absolutely lived for that last night, okay? But here is the real drama. Are y'all ready? So people were coming to me about Patrick Starr, and apparently Patrick Starr has some date, okay? Now I don't know if this tea is exclusive, if it's hot, if it's stale, or if it's a lie. So it might all be made up straight from the pit of hell. But somebody came to me and said that Patrick Starr <laughs> put out a poll on his YouTube channel saying, I have a date, should I start another YouTube channel and tell all about it? Because he has like, whatever, how many, four, five, six million subscribers at this point? I think three. So he's going to start another channel now. That's going to be all his story times that don't have anything to do with makeup, right? Oh, by the way, <laughs> should I insert this right here? Ooh. <laughs> Window, sendo, pendo. So anyway, there's my poem for the day. The, so many people have asked me to do makeup, okay? I get this question in all of my Q&As. By the way, my merchandise, fact, is coming. It is dropping this Sunday. Fact. Get ready, okay? I don't give a shit. There will at least be one fucking t-shirt up on there, okay? I got all the logos. I got it all ready. I'm just my lazy ass. I haven't sit down there and done it yet. But my merch is coming this Sunday. Okay, so if you still got some things you want, put it in the comment section below, like certain sayings or things like that. But anyway, um, so many people have asked me to do makeup reviews. They were like, you know what? Like, you should do makeup reviews because you talk about the beauty industry anyway. And I was thinking about this last night. I was like, I would do a car review and I'm not a mechanic. Okay, I would do a travel review and I'm not a traveler. Well, sometimes I am, but I would, listen, I would do a restaurant review and I don't cook food. I don't even like to cook food. So why not do a makeup review? So then I thought of this really hilarious, great title. It's called Brutally Something, but not the one you think of. Everybody does those already. Nobody invented that. So anyway, I was thinking I would do th this like really hilarious kind of like spin off of that, but it would totally be honest. Do you guys have any desire to see me do like really, but truly like authentic, but hilarious authentic, honest, authentic, authentic, genuine makeup reviews on my channel. If I, if so, let me know the first like makeup that you would like me to review in the comment section below. And I might try it just once and see how it goes. And if people like it, then I might do it again and again and again. And um, I want this year to learn how to do makeup anyway. Oh, by the way, I forgot all about this. Newsies, newsies, don't forget all about this. We're at 13 minutes and 40, 24 seconds. I'm going to pause this so I can uh, do the second part of this video, which I'm going to talk about because this is really, really important. <gasps> okay, so you guys are like, what happened? What just happened? Well, I had to go get something from the kitchen. I wasn't prepared with my plop, my props. My plops, plop, plop, fizz, fizz. Oh, what a release it is. You guys, I have not even had any coffee today. So for the person, <laughs> I almost said something mean, but for the person that says in the comment section below, you need more coffee, you're right. I do. I haven't had any today. But I just want to show you something that was sent to me really quick by Erica. Erica sent me this fantastic t-shirt. Are you ready? Oh my God. I love it so much. And it says, Dad AF. And there may be similar t-shirts like that coming in my merch shop. So I'm so excited about that. Thank you so much, Erica. But Erica also sent me a handwritten note. And I'm going to read it to you because it has a lot to do with how I feel about the whole makeup review thing. I don't know what's going on with my hair. I don't know much about clothes, but my hair looks fierce. So anyway, Erica said... <laughs> Hi, Peter. I found this shirt and thought it would be perfect for you. I stumbled across your channel when I started watching makeup tutorials because I wanted to learn how to do makeup. 
Now I'm totally obsessed with all of your channels. I mean, why wouldn't you be? <laughs> no, I'm totally joking. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the rest of it because it's private, but thank you, Erica. And what I love to hear that she said was, I stumbled across your channel when I started watching makeup tutorials because I wanted to learn how to do makeup. Now, I have met so many people along the way that when I ask them, why do you watch makeup drama channels? They say, because I wanna learn how to do makeup because I don't really know how to do makeup. I never had the girlfriends in high school that taught me how to do makeup. You know, I didn't go to, like, I've never, like I go to the mall sometimes and map counter and then they make me walk away and I look like a drag queen on a bad Saturday night not getting one dollar tip, okay? So, you know, they're like, I don't know what to do and so I watch all these tutorials and that's how I learn. And I thought, that's really interesting because I have said a lot that I want to learn about makeup and in fact, in my Q&A, I got a question and somebody said, would you wear makeup in videos? I totally would, okay? Like, now, do I think I would go out full glam on a daily basis? No, but I do think that I would like to learn about it on here. So what do you guys think about me doing a little bit of that and then doing some of the honest reviews on here? I mean, I'm going to do it in a funny way still, honestly. But, you know, I thought, what the hell? Like, I'm all about honesty. I'm all about getting on here and giving the full review. And I can at least admit that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. So when I'm giving a review, I'm giving a real honest review, right? So, Erica, thank you so much for that. But let's get right into the tea. Leave it in the comment section below. If you think that's the stupidest idea in the entire world, I also fed it out on my vlog. And they love me over there. So... They're the real ones that will tell me, no, you're over here too. You love me, don't you? I love you too. I, no, I love you too. No, I love you too. Okay, so anyway, let's get right into the next drama. <laughs> My friend last night, Kizzy, she goes, uh, I saw the video that you posted on Facebook. So I never post shit on Facebook, right? And like a week ago, I posted a video of mine that I had done. And I was like, since people ask me all the time, what do I do over here? And it was a video where I talk about Misty giving BJ's for $2 in the bathroom. And my friend Kizzy said to me, she goes, I watched your video uh, that you posted on Facebook. I was like, uh huh, well, what'd you think? Cause like none of my real people in real life, like they have no clue that I do this, right? Like I'm not embarrassed of it, I love it, obviously. Um, I love everything about it. But it's not like I go out and people go, what do you do? And I go, I'm I'm a YouTube creator. That is some phony ass bullshit when people say that. So anyway, I said, so what did you think? And she goes, oh, it was hilarious. She goes, I just laughed my ass off. And I go, do you think I'm like that in real life? And she goes, oh yeah, no. And she's like, that is like an uber exaggerated. She's like, but you are kind of. She's like, you know, when you're just sitting there talking, she was like, that's totally you. You always are just like giving your opinion, saying how you really feel. She was like, but the fans and all that kind of stuff. I mean, but seriously, do y'all think I just walk around the house and go, Come on, dogs, let's go outside to our old people neighborhood. So let's get right into the next piece of uh, tea. Oh, I don't drink tea, I drink coffee. So I thought this was very interesting that Patrick started this whole thing about was he going to have, you guys are like, what? This was going to be a very concise drama video and it has turned into, I don't know, 25 minutes of just buffoonery at this point. So, um, oh, by the way, I love this so much. People ask me about these. I tried this tutorial. I tried this tutorial and all this kind of stuff. You know, all the tutorials that are going around, which literally every person is tweeted out. Who should I do? And then they all say, Patrick Starr, James Charles, Patrick Starr. Okay, Kingsley, y'all know the YouTuber Kingsley. I love him. And he said three days ago in a tweet, the perfect response to this. He said, I tried following a James Charles makeup tutorial. I tried following a man named MUA makeup tutorial while eating spicy ramen during giving birth while following a Jenna Marbles makeup tutorial while trying to follow a Patrick Starr following a Bretman Rock makeup tutorial. It's too much is what we're saying, see? Too much. You killed the trend, okay? It's the cinnamon challenge all over again. We don't need it. And it's that stupid throw in water on challenge people. So many people, like, they tag me on that on Facebook, and they're like, you have to do it. I'm like, no, I don't. Yeah, you have to do the ice bucket challenge. And I go, no. And they go, but I just tagged you in it. And I'm like, okay, no. They're like, but I'm like, no. <laughs> I don't pour cold water on myself if I don't have to, unless it's 300 degree heat and I'm in one of those Australian stripper shows and I've never been asked to perform like that so obviously they're not gonna be throwing water on me nobody is so anyway what are those people called those do you know what I'm talking about they always have billboards of them outside of Vegas so anyway I went in here and um I what I found really interesting are you guys ready Renelda Sankey said is Mac Cosmetics bringing now y'all know that Mac and Patrick Starr just had this collaboration it was like a big deal. Like, honest to God, we all thought that Patrick Starr and Mac would be t working together for a very, very long time, didn't we, okay? And uh, Renelda Sankey said, is Mac Cosmetics bringing back more of the Patrick Starr collection? Everything sold out online in Canada. And Mac Cosmetics directly tweeted them back, her back and said, 
Sadly, Patrick Star is not anticipated to be restocked, Renelda. We hope you'll chat with an artist online for similar products to your faves here. Interesting, interesting. And then, uh, Parlon Mobile, Mobile, Mobile Cosmetics said, Patrick Star set powder sold out everywhere on online and in stores worldwide. La Price firm supply demand all reviews this powder is amazing contact parlon mobile cosmetics lc okay so anyway and then you go in here and uh somebody else said something about it and matt cosmetics responded to them and said regrettably it is not anticipated to be restocked patrick star set powder is inspired by our original which offers the same great benefits and response results which is interesting because we've seen other collabs before where they sell out very quickly or they don't sell out and they don't renew the contract, right? But MAC moving towards moving with Patrick Starr was kind of a revolutionary idea. Let's just be for real, right? And Patrick Starr has been doing a lot of big things. You know, this summer he did the whole the house with Katy Perry and all that other kind of stuff. And so it's interesting to me, you kind of wonder, like, what's going on behind the scenes? Like, if Patrick Starr was that lucrative for MAC Cosmetics, why would they just be like, next, we're done, next, we're done? So then I was like thinking back about all these people that were like, mm-hmm, like total silence when I said stuff about Patrick Starr. And I'm like, is there shit about Patrick Starr that we don't know? Is she a little problematic? Is he a little messy? I mean, I love Patrick Starr, right? But for a company like MAC Cosmetics to sell out that quickly, and if you go on here and you read Twitter and you read the reviews, people love this shit. They're begging for it, right? For it to be sold out, I mean, that's like that Glade spray, okay? I love that Gang, you know, the Gang Glade spray. You know what I'm talking about? It smells like laundry detergent. Ah! Well, if they sold me one bottle, then discontinued it. I'd be shitty as hell. I mean, that would be like that. People are living for this stuff, and they're like, nope, we're not bringing it back. Well, why not? That doesn't make any sense. Either Patrick Starr backed out or Matt backed out. Doesn't make any sense, not whatsoever. And I know the children are going to come to the comment section, and they're going to go, no, this is really, really common in the cosmetics industry, blah, 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 blah. Well, it's not common in the business industry, okay? That you have a selling product that is selling out like that, and you just go, nope, we're not going to do it. So this is what's either going to happen. There's some shady business behind the scenes that don't nobody know about, number one. Or number two, they are going to bring it back, or they're going to do another product with a... Uh, uh, what's his face? Uh, Patrick Starr. What's his face with Patrick Starr? Um, you know, and then this is going to be kind of a secret thing. So, like, they're going to have a long-term relationship, and this is just one segment of it. I think it'll be very interesting to see what happens with the relationship between Matt Cosmetics and Patrick Starr. <sighs> Sometimes I wear myself out. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with Patrick Starr and Matt Cosmetics over the next couple months, you know? But I'm happy to see other makeup companies working with other, you know, beauty influencers. Let's, I'd like to see it all mixed up and try some new people, right? Why not ride Raw Beauty Christie? <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Leave in the comment section below what you think it's all about. The robot. And I will talk to you later. Bye.